Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Castle Never Judge a Book by its Cover. When we last left off, I ended right at this puzzle, so let's see if I can solve this puzzle. Create a path from the one square to the 150 square. Okay, so from here to there. To disarm the alarm system. Each square in the path must contain a larger number than the previous square. You can only click on squares that are beside, above, or below the current square. The current square is indicated in purple while the entire path is colored red. Okay, so if you get stuck, you can click anywhere along the red path to return to that square. Or reset it. So, I can only go in high numbers. So, could I... Go like that. Probably not. Well, let's just... So I can't click on 4? Okay, so... Let's go with 9. 13. 19. Oh, then... Wait, I can still go up? 30. 40. 46. I can't go up there, but I can go over here, up here, I won't be able to go any higher if I go up there, oh, so, I should probably go back to 50, then 68, yeah, no. It's not gonna work either. And nothing works. Uh, 33, 42. If I go there, I c can't go anywhere, so... 47 doesn't lead me to anywhere either, does it? Nope. 51. 60. And no Oregon. Um, that leaves me nowhere. Wonder if I start from here. I can go up again, but that won't lead me anywhere. Forty-two. Forty-seven won't lead me anywhere higher. 59 won't either. So, 51. And I feel like I'm in the same place again. Because, yep, shouldn't go that way then. And, yeah, 19. 25. 27, 32, 35, 41, 44, and 63 is the only way I can go. 90. Can I just do it now? It's close, but no. Because mm. I was thinking I could just do that, but probably can't. So, are there any other numbers I can? Nope, just this, and I can't go anywhere else after that. So let me go back to 41. And I could go to 58. But then that won't lead me anywhere. 74 won't lead me anywhere, but. Oh, I could go to 101. Yeah. And 
And I did it. Took me over five minutes, but I did it. And now we can go through that door, but let's check what's in here. Lost and found. The coat looks old and the zipper is rusted. The slider won't move an inch. Okay. Can't check the bookcase. Anything over here? Keep glasses. Someone left a pair of glasses. I wonder if they belong to Catherine Saunders. I don't think so. That looks like dried blood and the nurse told us she only had a few bumps and bruises. You're right. And this blood stain, it's at least a few days old. Is it possible that one of our other victims was abducted, abducted here also? Yeah, this was probably the <coughs> scene where the first victim got dragged away at the beginning of the game then. But it's a really old computer. And anything else with these bookcases? The plant? Nope. Okay, let's go through the door. Oh, and the murder board got updated. A pair of glasses found at the library stained with dried blood. Likely belonged to one of the victims. All these notices. And what's that up there? There's a key amongst the trash stuck on top of the gutter. I need something for that. Still have no idea what this boros boroscope's for, though. And just those two things. Yep, just these two things. The dumpster is locked. Can't we move until the lock is open? Okay. Let's just. It's an exposed water pipe. Water valve. That's it. So there really is nothing here. To here. Well, I still have stuff to do with the library. So. Nope. Did I miss anything then? Guess I'll just walk back for now. Do I need. <laughs> of course, it's for the zipper. Now I can uh, unzip you. And you found an important item, a zipper. And th and that's everything. Let's see. I still haven't opened this. Still sealed shut. What what do I need a zipper for though? Been a while. It's probably for something in the construction construction side or something. Then and another puzzle right there. Kind of wanna I'll check upstairs first. There's no zipper. Oh, now you have a zipper. <laughs> and we got a titanium drill bit. So we need a power drill then for it. And that's it from up here? Yep, that's probably it. Well, let's solve this puzzle. Let's see a paintbrush. There you are. Glove. A hammer. Flashlight. There you are. Watch. An umbrella. A gear. A bucket, a ratchet, yep, protractor, a hand drill, oh, that's a sprinkler. Where would a hand drill be? Is that? Okay, that's a, and there's the cord. And that was easy enough, and I got a ratchet. What do I need a ratchet for though? And I think that's everything here, right? Yeah, maybe the ratchet's for the crate then, maybe. Because that's the only thing I can think of. Nope. This? Sure. Nothing? Okay. 
Anything else here? Nope. Let's go back to the church. I hope that young lady's alright. She's probably not. Let's start with the basement. Oh, that's probably... I need probably need a jewel for that then. Yeah. Let's see. Can I use the ratchet on you? Yep. And a water hose or a fire hose. What would I need a fire hose for though? Anything else? Here at the church? Nope. Let's go back to the library. And now that I have a water hose or a fire hose, I could use that. Before opening the valve, I should attach the other end of the hose. And now turn the valve. And we finally got that key. Dumpster key. Okay. Turn the key. And what's in the dumpster? A bloody pipe. This pipe has blood on it, but Catherine didn't show any signs of a head wound or bleeding. Between this and the dried blood by the computer, I'm pretty sure Catherine was not was not the only one to be abducted at the library. We should take this to the lab and see if it matches one of our other victims. Okay, to the lab we go. But there's still more stuff here at the library. Oh. And the pry bar. That's probably for the crate then. And that was it? Yep. Now I can go to the construction site after. You two look like you're in quite quite the rush. What's going on? We found this pipe with dried blood on it at the library where Kathleen Saunders was abducted. Is this what the killer used to knock her out? Possibly. But when we saw Kathleen at the hospital, she didn't have any noticeable wounds. We think it may belong to someone else. Well, let's take it out to the lab and run some tests. Over here. Nope. Let's walk out, out of the morgue and over here for once. Yep. And put you over here. Got a gauze. Got a bloody gauze now. We need to add an enzyme. Okay, so pick you up. Dip you in there. Nope. Over here. Nope. Has to be over here then. Yep. And then filled pipette. Can't dip you over there. Then I don't know. Wait, we need to add enzyme to the blood in order to create a solution that can be analyzed by the machine. Chan. Cannot be started until a solution has been made. <laughs> then, where do you go? Oh. Tried clicking there. Oh well. The blood and enzyme solution needs to be transferred into the PR machine. Okay, blood filled pipette. Oh, open you up. Put you in there. Close you and turn you on. It will take some time before the PCR machine finishes analyzing the blood sample. Don't worry, we have got plenty to keep us busy. Just let us know as soon as it's finished. You can count on me. Good luck, guys. And back to the construction site. Now we can finally open this crate. And we got a drill. And they combine to to form a bigger drill. And that's that that's it for there. And I needed a drill here for some reason. Oh, is it is it for the safe? Yep. I thought it would be for the back of that ju jukebox machine. 
Now we can finally use this periscope though. And another puzzle. Turn the dials to the correct combination to unlock the save. Click and drag each individual dial to rotate it. The combination is presented on the periscope in Roman numeral form. Okay, so 15, 4, and 20. Fifteen, four, and twenty. That's it. The easiest puzzle. Looks like we pulled it off. SM. Probably had a sing double by Benjamin Burke. New York huge publishing. Who's SM? Well, this is interesting. It appears Franklin Turner might have. Reasonable cause to be upset with both Myers and Hughes. There's a note here, sign SM. I'm guessing that's short for Samuel Myers. Yep. Precisely. Which leads me to believe the script we found in Myers' apartment became this book. I think Franklin had his work stolen. And there's the phone. Turner's lawyer finally showed up. It would be in our best, in your best interest to get down here quickly so we can try and get some answers out of Turner. We'll head right over. We'll head over right away, sir. And to the precinct. Turner is in the investigation room. 